What's up? You have a taser, you can't be a felon, so I need to see some ID. Hello? To have a taser on your person, you, ha you can't be a felon, so I need to see some ID. Do you hear me, sir? You, you focus here, I'm coming here. Yeah. Do you have your ID on you? need to show you my ID. What's that? If you have a taser have a, on you, you've got to show ID. The law. Today we will spotlight the City of Irvine Police Department. As many of us know by now, you do not have to give a police officer your identification if you are not suspected of committing, have committed, or about to commit a crime. In many situations, you must be very careful concerning the wording that cops have now began to use after being introduced into the auditing and cop watching community. Cops will now state that they have reasonable articulable suspicion based solely on the fact that you are being suspicious. We already know that it must be reasonable articulable suspicion of a specific crime. The point is, instead of simply respecting the rights of the public, cops are now trying to find strategic ways around honoring their oath and protecting our rights. Pay close attention as we will see a perfect example of that in this video. This video is brought to you by the YouTube channel Riverside County Accountability. Please go over to his channel and reward his hard work by giving him your subscription. Also, don't forget to leave your grade of A, B, C, or F concerning how these cops did their job. I will be looking forward to reading your thoughts. Now back to the video. on your person, you, ha you can't be a felon, so I need to see some ID. Do you hear me, sir? You, you focus here, I'm coming here. Yeah. Do you have your ID on you? Do you have your ID on you? I don't need to show you my ID. What's that? If you have a taser have a, on you, you've got to show ID. The law. So the fact of the matter is this, if you have certain convictions, then you may have diminished rights and you may not be allowed to carry certain weapons. But here's where these cops are trying to be tricky. They're trying to use that fact to override the fact that you must be suspected of committing a crime to receive ID. So plain and simple, even if these guys were not allowed to carry weapons, the cops cannot find out until they have done something like commit a crime or be suspected of committing a crime. At that point, the cops will be able to get their ID and then find out if they are allowed to have weapons or not. But before then, the cops have no rights to demand ID. Just like you're walking. Back up, back up. I can walk with you just like you're back walking. Up. Have you 
been searched? Have you been searched? Have you been searched? Have you been searched? Understand that having a weapon on you, there are limitations to somebody care. being able and to carry a weapon. If that was the felon, then I probably wouldn't be saying you understand. understand. Do you understand that one? I don't give a shit. Well, I don't understand I don't that care what you have to say about, about anything. Hey, man. you're out here doing your, your audits, that's fine. Yeah, well, but you also have. have to be within the law. Oh, good. Just like me. Until I so do the law, then you have the right to search me and okay. find out what my idea is. Well, this is their property if no, they don't want you this on it. This is the public sidewalk. This is the public movement. This, this is, is not a public, public easement. easement. Don't be stupid. This, this is, is a public easement. easement. You don't this know where property You were standing on the grass, were you, you not? Know where property lines are you standing on the grass? That's no, no, no. still public this easement. Public That's easement. still public easement. This is the public easement. Shut what up. Is it? Man, you're such an uneducated sergeant, man. What's wrong with you? This is the way you treat the people just to try to get How have you been mistreated? Get the hell out of here, man. Explain to me your you're mistreatment. You're a disgrace. Can you're you explain disgrace. to me you're trying to make up all this shit. Nobody just need my ID. Oh, now you're on your trespass. Nobody made anything out here, man. Insult to you're an life insult to that uniform, race. man. Yep. You're an insult to whoever fucking stripe you have on your fucking badge right there, man. You're an insult. You are a very polite person. And you're an insult. Thank you for that. You're I an insult to life. Hey, 81, I show you. Loves it. Loves it. Come on, what violation we got, man? What did the RP say? Tell the sergeant so he can arrest us. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Cool. Have a good day. Big rock, bitch. You're a disgrace, man. Told you, you weren't gonna ideas. There's no need. Kick the fuck on, There's man. No need. Get out of here. Okay. There Kick is rocks. No need because you're a disgrace. Look at you trying to fucking come up here, bark your orders, get my ID. Now, when you fail, you want to go ahead and try to see what crimes you can get us for. You're a disgrace. One of the best walk of shames I've ever seen. The link to the full video is down below. Make sure you go over to the YouTube channel, Riverside County Accountability, and subscribe. This is what it looks like to know your rights. Make sure you know your rights and always record the police. With that being said, we the People University signing off.